Hey guys, Monty here. When I woke up this morning, I was like, hey, I'm gonna try out the left side of the couch today. But instead, I got dragged out here in a snowstorm and beat in the face of the sleeping pad. I mean, what the heck? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Nature's gold mine. Oh yeah, look at that. Monty, is this nine? Come on, Monty. Yeah. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am out with uh, Mr. Montu Pichu, and uh, we're gonna spend another night out here in the woods. So I just want to say, happy spring. Oh, can you feel spring in the air? You know, the fresh trees are budding. There's birds up in the trees chirping away. All the signs of spring that you need. <laughs> oh, let's <you> come here. <laughs> yeah, there's a winter storm going on right now. We got a snowstorm. Uh, it started right when we got here. 
Uh, we've already got a couple inches. Um, the forecast is all over the place. You know, it was saying 12 inches, it was saying five inches, now it's saying eight inches. Who knows what it's gonna be. We'll only be able to tell with time, but it's definitely snowing now. It's definitely breezy out. We're in the thick of the trees. Uh, we were going down a trail. You saw we had to cross a little way too high of a stream. Uh, almost got my boots filled with water. It was about that close. But now we're going off trail uh, to find a nice spot. Um, I don't need the snowshoes yet. There's a nice hard pack. There's still about two feet of snow, but uh, it's so it's been melting and it's just so packed that uh, I don't need my snowshoes. I'm still post holing every once in a while, but yeah, don't really need it right now. But anyways, we've got a bit further to go. We're gonna be sleeping under a tarp tonight, hopefully cooking up some delicious food. So what do you say, Monty? Let's get to it. Let's go. Okay, um, this is not a bad spot, but there is a lot of dead branches here. What I'm gonna do now is just take off my pack and I'm gonna walk around and look for a spot somewhere in this area, because this is a nice spot. It's kind of more open, but we're still next to some thick trees, which is what I want to send you, because the winds are gonna be bad, the snow is strong. Uh, I don't wanna be, but I don't wanna be near a big, you know, big overhanging trees in case they fall over or whatnot. But uh, yeah, take off the pack, look around. I'm sure you'll notice my lens is fogging up pretty bad and that's because the snow is <laughs> pretty wet snow. It's not, it's right on the borderline of freezing. So it's getting my lens all wet and the snow's sticking to it pretty bad. I, I'm winning an another award for DSL DSLR Caretaker of the Year. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna have to get something dry out to wipe that off. Maybe it would have been smart if I brought a lens cloth. Anyways, we're gonna walk around and look for a spot. Let's do it, Monty, come on. What do you think, Monty? Come here. What do you think? Well, this looks like a pretty good spot. It's a little uneven, but it's so packy that we're just gonna sit on top of the snow. I'll just level it out with my shovel. But I'm thinking, go from right there to that tree to that tree. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use two tarps today. I'm pretty sure I remember to bring both of them. But uh, the reason I wanna be a little bit more out in the open is because uh, it's pretty windy. It might not sound like it or seem like it. And we are in a thicker spot with trees on the outside, but it's breezy and there's gusts because it is a, a snowstorm today and the, the, the winds are supposed to be about 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 25, 30, somewhere in there. So I don't want any surprises. So we've got a nice open spot with just little trees all around. So we're gonna make this work. Right, Monty? We're gonna make it work, Monty. You know, now that I'm here, I do see some really nice spots over there. <gasps> I'm having spot indecisive. I'm gonna go check over there real quick. Come on, Monty. Let's go see. Okay. Now this is the spot, for real. For real this time. <laughs> the reason I decided to change spots is because, let's just double check. That is east, and the winds are coming from east. East, northeast, so this way too, and this is all thick, pines in there. It's a nice open spot, 
There's no big dead branches or huge dead trees immediately nearby. Nothing that'll land on me. So uh, this, this way I can have a little bit more of an open setup rather than, uh, I was gonna set up you know both tarps in bunker down mode, but uh, I can have it a little bit more open now. Is this the spot, Monty? Is this the spot? Yeah, I can have a little bit more open now because uh, all the winds are going to be blocked. I don't even feel wind here. The snow is just kind of falling, big fat pieces of snow. So what the plan is going to be is I will end up probably using both tarps here. What I'm going to do is set up my big Noah's tarp from this tree to this tree, do a big old ridge line, and then we'll have the, uh, the one flap kind of more open, and then I can sit under it right here. This will be more of our chill spot. We'll have a fire pit right there. And then I'm going to set my other tarp and just kind of angle it a little bit more on the same ridge line, maybe even share space with the, the other tarp, and uh, have it big, wide, and open, a nice angle, and that'll be our sleep spot, and then I can even this out. So, let's get to it, Monty. What do you think? You look at that. Look at that. Too much fun already. Monty, slow down on the fun. Oh, hey. You just go like this, and shazam! Perfectly, completely, 100% untangled. That's all it took. Let's set it up now. One sure way to tell that if it's snowing or not is if you're uh, taking too long to give your Monty a spot, he's completely covered in snow. Monty, do you want a treat? Monty, do you want to go for the dog park? Do you want a stick? Do you want a treat? What's that? <laughs> he little frosty bunny. Okay, this will be our, our chill spot. See, it's gonna be a little bit unconventional. Let's see, if, I'll have to bury my chair down a little bit, but I'll just keep doing that. And then we'll just have the wind, what is that? Yeah, we'll just block it like that. And then we'll just set up the other one right here. We'll kind of make this our sleep area. It'll all work out. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Come here, Monty. Right here. Good boy. Get this snow off you. Come here. Good boy. All right, lay down right here. All right, right here, Monty. All right, we need to give him a sleeping pad. 
and a chill zone because it's snowing. It sure is snowing, Monty. Watch out. Move your booty. Move your booty. Today we've got the ultra deluxe sleeping pad for Monty. Since uh, I'm really good at destroying sleeping pads lately. He's got the luxurious, super thick, super large. I don't know what it's called, but it's got this, it's got this quick blow up thing. I'm sorry, Monty. I'm sorry. You want to come under here? Now, Monty doesn't like these booties. Looks like we're gonna be whacking off the turf again. Back to whacking. Yeah, anyways, Monty doesn't really care for the booties um, other than they keep the snow out of his paws. You know, other other than that, he doesn't really like them because they just make his feet kind of sweat. And believe it or not, uh, the dogs do sweat in the palms of their feet. So he takes them off when he gets in here. So now we've got to cover them up. There you go. Okay, so the snow is getting in here because it is blowing us a little bit. So I am gonna set up the second tarp right here just like I was planning. We'll probably just, we'll keep it at the same angle on this wall. And then on this wall, I'll have it go right to the ground here. Maybe even more on this side, we'll maybe have it go flatter. Or, or I mean more of an angle. So that when I do, uh, you know, knock off the snow all night, uh, it's not gonna be like this one and collecting snow. I might even, at the end of the night, when we go to bed, I might lower this to the ground here. This is just strictly going to be for sitting under while I'm up and awake and we have the fire going out there. Because as you can see, it's collecting snow every, <laughs> every minute, more snow's got to come off. But anyways, now that our Monty's set up, we're going to keep setting up. Here. Don't come down, Monty. He's coming down. You know what's better than one rat's nest? Two rat's nests. Here, Monty, hold on to my gloves. Winter just seems so far away Now it looks as though it's here to stay Oh, I believe in yesterday Suddenly, da, da, da. 
Spring doesn't seem to be happening. Winter keeps on going endlessly. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why spring had to go, I don't know, it wouldn't say. Winter's been so damn long, now I long for yesterday. Okay, so it's decently set up for right now. We're gonna be sleeping right under there. Uh, we've got protection from both sides. Um, it seems like most of the gusts are kind of coming from this way because it's more open. It's supposed to be easterly winds, but when the wind does pick up, it comes from this way. So we've set up that wall to block the winds coming from that way. Um, I'm probably gonna end up at the end of the night, like I said, most likely gonna pin this to the ground with a stake just untie it from that tree, pin it down. This one needs a little bit more tightening that way. Monty is uh, just chilling over here. Anyways, yeah, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fix this up a little bit. We'll start evening out the ground and then uh, we've got about an hour of daylight left. It's about 7.15 Eastern, PM, not AM, but uh, you know, you may be able to tell some of you guys, a lot of you guys, that uh, you know I'm not, I'm not an expert at setting up tarps. I just kind of go out and wing it every single time, deal with the rat's nest every single time. It is what it is. Everything works out. We're always warm. We're always dry at night. It always works out. But snow is coming a little bit here. But like I said, this is our chill spot. We're just going to be sitting under here. I'm going to probably dig down, set up my chair here, have the fire right there. So, yeah, we're, we're pretty good. We'll just sleep with our heads down here. I'll even this out. It'll just be knocked off all night. And we got a chill spot. This will be good. I was gonna go for more of a bunker down mode, but uh, when I do that, I like to have like a nice dead down tree that's kind of sitting up so I can kind of wrap over it, but it's okay. That's okay. Let's dig this out a little bit. We'll build up this wall with some snow. Yeah, there's still like two feet of snow at least here. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe more. I don't know. It's, it's definitely packy but we've got a nice little spot here. And it's mid-April right now. <laughs> mid-April. Oh boy. Okay, so now it's time to collect some firewood. And then we got to dig out a fire pit, make this area nice so that I can set up my chair. I might raise that, uh, that tarp on that side a little bit. And then we'll get cooking eventually. Yeah! 
Oh yeah. Well, that was easy. There we go. That's some pain. We got some pain, Monty. Lately, I just haven't been needing the axe to take down these trees and find enough dead leaners. All right. Get some more, my tea. Oh. Oh. Man, is it coming down right now? Every time I step away from the tarp, it needs to be knocked off again. So I've got a big old pile of wood here. I'm just gonna saw this up into nice big old chunks here. And then we're gonna dig out a fire spot, start up a fire. Um, I, I might go collect a little bit more wood. This is mostly all pine. I think this might be maple, but I've just, it's all been dead leaning and stuff. So we're just gonna chop this up into big old chunks. Less work and let the fire do all the burning in half. Once we get this fire going, we'll get Monty uh, a stick. Oh man, that tarp is sagging so bad from all the snow because I haven't been knocking that one off. Uh, the snow is really coming down. It's wet. It's yeah, great, great. <laughs> oh, look at that. I just knocked it off. I think we're going on the more of a, a foot of snow or more side because it is coming down. And eventually at some point, and I don't know if I already mentioned this, it's supposed to turn to freezing rain. Whew. Anyways, let's keep trucking along. <laughs> Okay, it's time to get the fire pit figured out and get a fire going because it is getting, it's gonna start getting dark really quick. Man, everything is sagging, the snow is coming down. <laughs> it's coming down. Um, we're gonna have, oh, <coughs> I just breathe in some snow. And it's like whippy, stingy snow. You know, I'm, gonna, I'm having a little bit of, uh, probably should have set up this whole thing in bunker mode and not try to dink around with uh, making the shelter open at all. And for cooking, uh, yeah. But like I said, the reason I want to be in an open spot is trees falling 
it is what it is. Here's where we're at. We're not moving now. It's getting too dark too fast. Either way, even if we get a little bit of snow on our feet and stuff, that side of the tent, I'm just gonna have to get up a lot. It's okay. And I'm definitely gonna be staking this down tonight. So we'll just put the fire pit right here. I'm not gonna need it for warmth. It's very warm out. It's it's 30 degrees right right there. It's right around 30. So I'm not gonna need to sit near this for warmth. I'm gonna want it a little bit away so that it doesn't burn holes in my tarp. And so they don't have to go, you know, crazy far to cook. But it's mostly a cooking and a relaxing fire. So we're just gonna dig it down to the ground here, see how deep the snow is. If it's too deep, maybe we won't. Oh, it looks pretty deep. Oh, geez. Okay. Snow is still, snow is still to here. What is that? That's got to be two and a half, three feet. So, well, I guess we're just going to have a deep fire pit. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be hard for me to start it. Okay, let's spark this baby up. Man, we are back in a winter wonderland. <laughs> it is snowing. It's winter all over again. It was so feeling like spring. We've got this massive piece, chunk of birch bark here. Oh, this is so far to reach down. Oh, and this is kind of wet. I don't think we're going to get the one strike, but maybe. You know, last time you guys said, there were, everyone was congratulating me and I was all like, yeah, one strike. And one person said it didn't count because I did the little, I didn't even, I didn't even scrape material. I just kind of like grazed my knife for no reason. But, oh, this is not going to be the time. I can't even. I can't, hold on. I'm gonna have to like lay on my belly here to get down in this hole. Struggling. I don't have anything set down. And the birch bark is a little wet. There it goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is it gonna stay? Oh. We'll see. Barely alive. I think I got more birch bark on me. Oh, I can't see. Okay, that should do the trick. Everything's a little bit wet because all the snow. It's gonna be smoky here. But there's enough birch bark there that it should stay lit.
One thing I like to do whenever it's uh, a fire with wet wood or if it's like raining out or anything like that, is I pile it like a, I make a teepee fire. And that lets your sticks like burn straight up and kind of makes a bigger flame. And that way you can put more, you know, wet stuff when you got that big flame and it just kind of dries it all out. Get some scent. Come on, get it. Get it. Get it, Monty. No, that's the wrong stick, Monty. Try again. Try again. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Get it, Monty. Yeah, it's windier than I thought it was going to be. Well, I knew it was windy. I knew it was going to be windy. But like I said, they're supposed to be from this way where we got the blockage. But those gusts are still swirling around. I'd say it's it's thick all through here, to the north, to the northeast, to the east, to even the southeast. It's just, you know, all the west side. But it seems like that's making the wind come in from the, uh, what is that, southeast, south? I don't know, bring it here Monty, bring me that stick. Come on. Anyways, yeah. It's a little snowier than I was thinking it. <laughs> it's coming down. It's snowing guys. Did I mention that? Did I mention that? Yeah. It's definitely not a blizzard though. Blizzard is defined by basically high winds and no visibility. It doesn't even have to be snowing technically for a blizzard. You just have to have no visibility and sustained winds. I think it's like 35 miles an hour for two or three hours sustained and visibility less than like, I don't really know what it is, 20 feet or something like that. That's a blizzard. This is a snowstorm. Snowstorm is just the winds under 35 uh, and just lots of snow in a short period. That's what we got. Good old April snowstorm. Just when you think spring's coming in, then you get a foot of snow. But I think it's supposed to get really warm and rain, so it's probably all gonna melt within a week anyways. 
Who knows? Who knows? Winter's Winter's just trucking along. Monty. Six monkey, 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 six monkey, six monkey, monkey, six monkey, do it, jump, Monty. Come on. You want the stick? You want the stick? You want the stick? You want the stick, bunny? Little frosty bunny. So yeah, it's gonna be a minute before I can cook. Uh, we've got quite the big old fire pit going on. Uh, I'm just gonna keep burning, adding these logs, building a nice coal bed down there. I'm gonna need to get more sticks, which is a big dead down tree, which I grabbed all these off right over there. But it's kind of nice using these big old pieces because you can add them all on right away. They burn in half and slowly burn down. This will get our fire pit big, widen up. I'm surprised by how much snow is still here. You can't probably even see me anymore. But we will be knocking off. It's hard for me to say, to not say whacking off. Cause it, it's, when I say whacking, I mean hitting it like that. But you know, whacking off sounds, ooh. That's what we don't want. That is a, just a big gust from the south. Oh man. Well. Yeah, maybe I'll have to readjust the tarps. Just a little bit. Maybe I'll even have to grab a stick to put underneath it. But like I said, I'm no expert tarp setter upper, if that's even a thing. <laughs> I don't claim to be an expert in anything. I guess if there's one thing I'm an expert in, it's getting out into the woods and camping. I'm good at that. I get out here. I just, uh, you know, I've got some setups. I'm living. I'm learning. I don't. I'm not afraid to admit it. That's why I come out time and time again. This snow is real wet and heavy. It's uh, it's saggy snow. So what I think I'm gonna do, uh, as far as the tarps go and sleeping tonight, when I do take this uh, rope here. And I take it down and we stake this to the ground. I'm going to dig out underneath this tarp here. And just we'll sleep, maybe we'll sleep long ways this way. And then uh, that might, uh, since if, if the wind is blowing from this way, I don't know, who knows. But I need to get some sticks here. All right, we need to get some sticks, keep this thing going get that light on there dig out a spot from a chair do some relaxing here's frosty as I've ever seen you Monty look at that frosty face Monty you're so frosty oh geez so here's the scoop here's the scoop we're in some poop that's what it is oh it's a it's a pretty gnarly storm we got a definite gnarly storm. The, war, the wind is just relentlessly swirling around. Just now it's blowing this way. It's gusting from this way. It's coming. It's swirling. Look at that. Gust. So we're in some nasty storms. So what's going to happen, guys, is I'm going to just burn this fire down. We're going to make some coals. And cooking tonight is going to be pretty unglamorous because uh, I've got to fix my shelter and I've got to make it bunker down and it's it's it needs to be improved we're gonna just just get snowed on all night and when it turns to freezing rain it's gonna be nasty so didn't set up as good as i should have my bad 
but I'm going to fix it. Um, I'm not quite sure 100% what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to at least take down this side of the tarp and then I'm going to get us some sticks probably. I'm going to have to go find a few sticks. There's dead trees all over, but uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to, I'm just going to make it hunker down mode and uh, we're pretty much just going to be chilling under the tarp and I'll, I'll just be standing around cooking, you know, throwing the stick for Monty. I'm not going to do much sitting around and relaxing until after dinner's cooked and we can just sit in the shelter because, yeah, it's, it's very windy. It's very gnarly. Um, it would have been a lot nicer to just like go into this thick stuff here and, you know, set up uh, just the tarp in there right in the thick of it. But then you run the risk of having stuff, big branches over you, yada, yada, yada. So... I just gotta, I just gotta adapt, you know? It is what it is. <laughs> Come on, G. He just wants to keep fetching the stick. He's over there sitting there guarding it. But you got snowballs on your whiskers. <laughs> Monty, snow whiskers? Ready? Ready, snow whiskers? Get it. Bunny, bunny, bunny. You stinker. You're gonna have to go over here for right now. Okay. All right, lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Okay, let's cover you up. Oh, don't do that, Monty. Don't do that. Carry up, all right. Armonti's all, Armonti's secure. Okay, so right now what the plan is, I'm gonna dig, dig this down a ways where I'm sitting, kind of dig out here. Then I'm gonna take this tarp and I'm gonna go under this rope here to create a wind block here. And then this is gonna come down and we're gonna sleep long ways this way all oh, the smoke is fuddled in it here. Oh, that's no good. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna dig this out, just enough for us to have our sleeping pads, which is gonna take a little bit of digging here. But uh, that's okay. That's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do, right, Monty? Oh, heaven to bits. <laughs> And it doesn't help that this snow is ice, ice pack, packed snow. Well, this is all fresh fluff snow. The way that the wind's coming from the least is this way. So it's going to be better that we're sleeping back this way more with our feet down here. Actually, you know what? I don't really need to dig that much out. I just need to block this off. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I just put this down. I d I'll dig this out and then I'll put this down and we'll see what it's like sleeping right here. Sorry, Monty. Oh, Monty, I'm so... <laughs> I swear I'm not trying to do that, Monty. I swear. I'm sorry. I'm just getting snow all over your sleep and stuff, huh? Huh, bud? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna keep plucking away at this. We'll see where we're at in a bit. Okay, so... What we've got for now is a really sleepy Monty. Monty, little frosty bunny. 
Okay, let's just crawl in here with you, Monty. Okay, so what I've done is we've kind of bunkered down. The wind is not coming from that side at all. I am not really getting gusts. There's that tree right there, everything. So we're gonna sleep right there. I've got snow piled on over here. This is super tight. I don't even need to knock this off and the snow, it, it doesn't matter. That is super tight. I've got it pulled down on that side staked. Now I've taken this tarp here and I've overlapped it. And that one's super taut. So what's gonna happen with this tarp is I'm not even gonna put a stick under it. I'm gonna kind of let it sag from the snow. And what that's gonna do is slowly just block this off from the wind. And I'm going to pile up snow here. So, oh, that's the next step is, um, yeah, I'm just gonna move Monty over here to where we're gonna be, he's gonna be sleeping for the night and our spot. And then I'm gonna dig out this excess snow here and I'm gonna build this wall up uh, nice and good. And that's what we're gonna do. It's a lot better, I'm feeling a lot better about it. I was a little worried. There's gonna be a little spot here, but we're not gonna get wet at all tonight now. It needed to be done, I'm glad I did that. I didn't do a whole lot. All I did was pretty much dig out snow and adjust this tarp. It was just, I had to move it over about a foot or two that way. A few feet actually. And tighten up the, I uh, put stakes and everything around. Tighten it up pretty good, but we've got a, Monty needs some treats and he needs to be dried off. <laughs> Monty, <laughs> you're so snowy. All right, we're gonna dry you off, Monty. And then let's let's get to that. Hey Monty. Hey pal. Oh heaven to Betsy. I need to. Oops, sorry, Monty. I keep making holes. Right, Monty? That's where I'm gonna sleep. Gotta make room for me. We're getting slight amounts of snow from right there. So I'll just pile up some snow from the outside. All right, Monty. That's a good boy. He's chilling. He's chilling, he's chilling. He's a little bit wet, but he's not cold. This is definitely one of the warmer nights we've winter camp. This isn't winter, we're in spring. What am I talking about? Ugh. But I can just, this thing's so tight, I don't need to, need to worry about hitting it. Well, that's how deep the powder is right now. I guess you can't really get a, so up to here, let's just raise my foot up right here. That's how much fresh snow we've gotten up to right there. There's the bottom of my boot. So that's, that's eight inches. That's definitely eight inches, at least eight inches already. Let's take a final look at our dome status. So here's our little entryway. Got a little right here. I've got the walls dug out decently over here. And you go into here, and we've got ourselves a Curious Monty. I've got the snow pretty good over there. I've dug out the back wall pretty good. And Mr. Monty, well, let's, just, let's just go up to Mr. Monty here. How you doing, Mr. Monty? So, that's how much snow has gotten on the sleeping pad, and this is before, um, this is right, I didn't touch a sleeping pad since I moved in here, so there's no fresh snow getting on the sleeping pad. 
What do you think, Monty? What do you think about this? Don't do it. No, no, no. Gross. Uh, uh, he's got the worst breath. Gross. <laughs> oh, I'm gagging. I'm just kidding. I'm not gagging. But it is nasty, Monty. Okay. So, guys. Out of all the snowstorms I've camped in, all uh, four of them. <laughs> Monty, don't, no more kisses. Please, please, you're gonna get treats later. You're gonna get treats, you get treats if you don't kiss. There we go. It's not that I don't like his kisses, guys. It's that he's got real nasty breath. Just don't do it. Anyways, yeah, this one's been, this is the windiest, um, heaviest snow I've camped in and it says it's gonna turn into uh, freezing rain sleet and rain showers <laughs> by tomorrow so <sighs> but now that we're all set up my sleeping stuff I'm not bringing up till I'm getting ready for bed let's prepare dinner and let's get to cooking because our fire we've got a nice hot coal bed uh, Monty's probably gonna be relaxing in here I think he's gonna come creeping out once the venison starts getting cooking, you know what I'm saying? But we're not gonna set up the chair, I'm not even gonna bother. Don't do it. Don't do it. My breath, my breath probably isn't that good either, Monty. All right, I don't even know if the camera can pick that up, but feels good to lay back. Okay, time to put on some layers. Then we're gonna prepare dinner and get to cooking. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Let's prepare some food. Get that set up for mine. Hey, Monty. What you doing back there? Hey. 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 You do a little critter. Okay. What we're having for dinner tonight is a uh, classic campfire food. Nothing crazy. I'm gonna breathe in a bunch of smoke while I'm preparing it, and it's gonna be great. I love smoke. It's just so good when it gets in your lungs and your eyes. <sighs> we're having potatoes, onions, red bell pepper, chicken with some salt and pepper, sauteed in butter. It's uh, it's nothing you know crazy. There's no crazy technical aspect to it, but it's dang delicious. Definitely one of my favorites. Cause it's just it's just classic. There's just the flavor of the foods that's in there, the peppers, the garlic. Oh, it's it's nice. Uh, just a nice meal. Okay. Let's see 
what else we got in here? We got some white onion. Pre-peeled chunks of garlic. I'm not gonna go crazy on making this all fine. Just, just so it's, just so the flavor gets floating around in there or roasting it. I'll get a nice bite of garlic. I like bites of garlic. I like garlic. I ate a whole pickled, I ate a whole jar of pickled garlic once, and that uh, gave me probably the worst poops I've ever had. Besides the old pepperoncinis and peanuts ordeal. Anywho, <laughs> yeah, don't eat whole jars of pickled garlic. <laughs> oh. Alright, it's good enough. Good enough. Nice chunks of garlic. Going into the pot. We just got some red bell pepper to prepare, but this isn't going to go in the pot yet. Day right here. Okay. Now we've got to add some spices to this right here. Black pepper. Black pepper is probably my second favorite spice besides Montreal. Now I don't like to do Montreal in this one because I kind of like to taste the onions and the peppers and the garlic and not any other flavors really. It's, it's kind of just a nice nice meal in that regard. And we've got to add some salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Need more salt than that. And just a pinch more, just a pinch more. Okay, that looks good, that looks good. Okay. And then for mine, all I need is some butter. We're gonna need some extra butter this time around. Sounds like it's starting to rain, the freezing rain. We're gonna add a healthy little chunk of butter. I'm gonna keep the butter handy too. We'll keep it out. And then we've gotta prepare Monty's. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? You little stinker. Can't give him this whole pack of venison here. This is about half or he'll get the poops. We're gonna fry that up in some snow. And then uh, we'll mix in his pumpkin. And so I'm gonna just cook this up, cook the potatoes out a little bit. And then we're gonna add some chicken tenderloins and then these peppers. We're gonna be eating. Let's do it. Let's cook it, Monty. Let's cook it. Okay, I am just gonna kinda climb into the. Oop, oop, oh, oh, don't wanna do that. Burn my muck boots. I'm gonna kinda climb into the fire pit here and just sit like this. Wow, this actually works great. Uh, let's see, what side do I wanna cook it on? Let's cook it on this side. Keep this fire burning. Gotta be careful, these are some new new gloves that I don't want to ruin yet. They'll get ruined with time, I'm sure. Just not yet. Keep. Okay. Get out, eat. Oh, great, great. It's pretty sturdy. It's about a two out of 10 on sturdiness. Oh, don't wanna be doing that. No, 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 no. Gray, gray just needs a little help. Much better, much better. And Mr. Monty's here. 
just like that. Monty gets to eat snow for dinner. Monty doesn't mind snow. <sighs> oh. Oh. All right, let's go down here. Oh. I need one more thing. One more thing. Okay. I brought out a couple of beers. <sighs> now, let's put my gloves right there to dry. My bum might get a little bit cold sitting here, but this is like the perfect chair, right here. And my bum will get toasty. Nestle Bay, Monty. What do you think? He's like, it's cozier back underneath there, but you got venison out here, so here I am. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice little fire pit we got going on. Got a big old diameter. I think I only shoveled it out like this much. It wasn't very big. Oh, how's our food looking? If there's one big fear that I have in the woods, my one legitimate fear, not my only fear, but my biggest fear, is wind. I don't like... <laughs> wind is probably my least favorite thing to camp in. I like, I wanted to come out and, oh, it's, you know, I like the snow. Snowstorms are fun. Snow is fun. You know, snowfall is very pretty. But wind? Mm-mm. I am not a fan of wind, just because it's a legitimate fear. Uh, you know, tr branches breaking off, trees falling over. That's why I camped in such an open spot here. We're kind of getting a little blast with a little bit more wind, but like, you know, there's there's smaller trees around, there's a couple of branches, but if those cracked off, they wouldn't really, you know, and I these trees right around me aren't gonna uproot. That's kind of way, the way I planned my spot. The other spot was even more open, and but it would have been a lot more gusty and nasty to deal with. But uh, yeah, wind. And I'll, if you guys remember, any of you that watched um, my recent nine night adventure, um, I ran to a couple ladies after a windstorm picked up and the winds just got crazy. It was uh, rain, a little bit of thunder, and then the winds picked up and that's the one thing that makes me nervous is the winds because those trees blowing down and I ran to these two ladies at a portage and they had said that that night where the wind kicked up a tree blew over and <laughs> Monty does not like the smoke the, a tree blew over and pretty much ruined their tent and slammed in and spiked right next to them into the ground and they said if there, you know, if the, uh, if just within a foot, they could have, you know, been dead or worse or a major. Oh no, Monty, this was my fault, but I'm blaming you. No. Anyways, yeah, um, it could have been really bad. It destroy their tent but they were fine they said they got really lucky and yeah that's why wind's my one biggest fear out in the woods that that sort of thing can happen and the wind is it's windy tonight not insane it's windy. All right, we need to stir up this food here. We've lost the majority of our beer. 
it's, it's, it's not so good. Whoops, whoops. I can already tell we need another chunk of butter. burnage over there. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Let's take a little little Okay now I was thinking about uh, fire roasting these on the great grate, but I'm not gonna dink around right now. I'm hungry. It's gonna taste good either way. I'm gonna be happy. So we're just gonna add them in like that and cook it up. I think I've got four tenderloins there, little tender chicken tenderloins. I'm just gonna chop it up with this. That's what we'll do. Oh, there we go. I don't even need to cut it up or touch it or anything. You guys know how I don't like touching chicken. Monty, my butt's getting a little cold. My butt's getting cold. <sighs> I had to turn Monty around. He wasn't having it. At least so now he'll stay. I don't want him, uh, mainly I don't want him getting wet, more wet. This blanket, this can get a little wet. That's okay, but as, as long as his fur doesn't get too wet and frosty, he'll be toasty. He's got a nice thick coat. Right, Monty? You want a treat? Do you want a treat? Oh, smoke. That's okay. You're gonna get a treat. Don't you worry. I already gave him some uh, about a cup of dog food when we got here. Gotta fatten the boy up. No, you gotta give him food. Keep him burning calories. Keep him warm. Monty, remember when you spilled this beer? My bum's not too cold, just a little cold. Just a little bit. Ugh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry, and the wind is coming straight from this way. Oh man, I'm a little tired. I'm a little pooped. Oh, I, sh I set my watch. We gotta go get that. Oh. 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 Well, I don't think we're gonna have to worry about rain. <laughs> it's 20 degrees out. And I think that's with the wind chill. I'm not, I'm not really sure, that, I mean it has to be. You know, the, this thing's hanging in a tree. But yeah, it's 20 out. Ooh, that's looking good. It tastes, it always tastes so much better when you got the right amount of butter in there. And you're not getting <clears throat> you're not getting too much moisture from everything, so it's like kind of it's almost sticky. Not all oh, the smoke is getting me. It's not like 100% sticky, you know, but just got that buttery butteriness. Once I add the peppers, it'll probably get a little bit more juicy, but it always tastes better if it's less juicy. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Then we've got Mr. Monty's Monty Slop. Yummy. His is about ready. I think we can serve Monty his food. We won't be eating quite together, but his is ready. We can't we can't just make him wait, you know? Alright, we'll get Monty's ready. Monty gets to eat first. Pumpkin. Uh. Gotta 
promise not to slide this around, okay? I'm not gonna give you too much dog food. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And we gotta get, what do you think, Monty? You want some pumpkin? Some pumpkin chunks? You like that pumpkin, don't you? Oh, that looks so yummy, Monty. I would just, if I was you, would love this. But for me, that kind of looks disgusting. But, you know, that's just me. Eh, you know, it doesn't look so bad. Pumpkin gooey gooey dog slop. Right, let me just... Gotta make sure it's not too hot. Oh yeah, it's just lukewarm. It's steaming, but it's not hot. All right, Monty, hold on. Let me take this off for ya. Let me come over here and sit down. Wait, wait, what? You want that? You want that? All right, go ahead. You've been a good boy. Nice, nice old rump of the Monty. Oh, get mine a little stir. Ooh, I almost just flipped it. Hey, hey Monty. Ooh, he's gonna be begging for this. This looks so good. Oh, I'm getting pumped. All right, I'm adding in the red peppers. I'm adding them in. I'm gonna do it over here. These are a little frozen. I'm getting so hungry. It's uh, it's pretty late, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. Oh. My fire is getting down there, ladies and gentlemen. Getting down to the, the end. It's time to crack open my second beer. What do you think, Monty? You gonna spill this one? I gotta stop blaming him. It's my fault. Yeah, there's not gonna be much uh, book reading tonight or anything. <laughs> Once I eat, I'm gonna go to bed. It's, uh, I don't even wanna say what time it is. <laughs> oh, the last time I checked. Yeah, it's midnight. I don't even know where the time flies by. I just like messing around. When did I even get out? Got a late start today. I mean, let's just assume every time is a late start unless stated otherwise. But, uh, what time did I get out here? Storm started around 4, 4.30. Who knows? Probably just be blue skies, sunny. This will all be melted by the morning. We'll be on level ground with the pit, the fire pit. The ground here. All right, we need to check our food. It's got to be getting close to done. Oh. oh. Let's see. Oh, that's so close. That's about done. I can eat undercooked peppers. I can eat undercooked onions. I can eat undercooked potatoes. But undercooked chicken? Never. That's the one thing we gotta make sure is cooked, which I'm sure everything's cooked right now. This is a hot, hot. It's just. Right 
Oh yeah. Everything's cooked. It looks so good. It's like the perfect consistency. It's not like juicy. It's just, it's, it's not like super sticky, but it's just sticky enough. Oh yeah. Let's just check this. Oh. Okay. Let's eat this thing. Oh yeah. It's food time. It's food time. Okay. That looks so good. I'm hungry, Monty. <laughs> You're definitely not getting any of this. This is this is non-Monty special. Where's my? <laughs> I can't reach. There he is. <sighs> okay, let's just see. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's nice and hot. It's a little hot. Okay. Besides cooking fish over a campfire, this is probably one of the first meals, and besides like hot dogs and brats and sort of stuff like that, but uh, we used to make these hobo pies. That's what we call them. And you just, the same thing, you just wrap up in tin foil, you use any type of meat, potato, pepper, onion, this generic thing. And uh, we used to just pre-wrap them and bring them out and roast them on the coals. Call them hobo pies and uh, that's pretty much what started me cooking over the campfire. Besides fish, like I said. Oh, that's good. Mm. It's simple but flavors huh oh oh that was a hell I think I burned my mouth on that one <laughs> oh that one stuck right to the roof of my mouth ow that was a hot potato. Monty. No, oh, that's empty. That didn't feel good. Ugh. Now you may be thinking, why not spit it out? No. <laughs> That's why. No. I thought I saw something over here. Did I see something over here? I thought I saw something that everyone would really appreciate. Oh yeah, I did see something that everyone would really appreciate. Check this out. Do you think it's a good idea to reach your finger in? Oh, the smoke. I think his name is Steve the Spider. I'm gonna I'm gonna pet him. Oh Steve! Come back, I wanna pet you. Are those fangs, Steve? 
those things. Oh, oh, Steve. Apparently Steve doesn't like being pet. That's a nice spider. That's a nice spider. Come back here. Oh, 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 oh. Let me. <laughs> yeah, I read somewhere that you, every time we see a spider, you're supposed to pet it. Yep. Or was it kill it? No, I'm pretty sure it was pet it. Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna eat it all, and then you won't have to beg about it anymore. Because there is no way. He's not getting a scrap of this. There's no chance that I won't inhale this. I should have brought, brought out more. This is probably the best, um, the best batch of this meal I've ever made. Alright guys. I'm going to finish eating up here. And uh, we don't have, I mean I've got some firewood. I just decided not to burn those two logs. Our fire pit has grown massive. But uh, I'm going to put away all my bed stuff. I've already put most of my sleep stuff inside there but when I'm done, we will get ready for bed, and I will check back in with you guys then. Catch you in a bit. Oops. Oh, oh. There we go. Let's just, let's just pop another sleeping pad. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. What? Are you ready for maximum comfort? You look like you're ready. He, he knows what's coming. He knows. Look at him. If this dog... He, he loves crawling in this sleeping bag. He loves crawling in this sleeping bag. Oh, okay, Monty. You've earned it. Come on. Treat yourself to a nice sleeping bag. Yeah. Go ahead. If you want to lay the wrong way, I'll turn you around. It's okay. Come on, lay down. You can dig, I guess, if you want. Whatever way you want to lay, we'll make it work. Yeah, see? See, I can work with that. I can work with that. Oh, we're just going to... Turn you around. Oh, no, it's okay. And here. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, isn't that the best? Oh, Monty. You're not going to be seeing much more Monty the rest of the night because his face is that way and he's getting zipped in. Hope you're not uneven there, Monty. Okay. Monty's tucked in. Monty's warm. Monty's dry. Now I've got to worry about my stuff. Oh. Oh, okay. Just gonna blow up my pillows here. These are, uh, Nemo Fillow Pillow. Nemo Fillow. I don't know, I love these things. I, I have two of them. One for my knees. And one for my head. I've tried I've tried quite a few pillows, but this is the most uh, close to a pillow I've found. And I'm sure some of you guys have noticed I've started linking uh, gear that I use down in the description of the video. Oh, 
I'm never gonna put anything down there that I don't actually use and like. If it's something I happen to use and I don't like, it's not going down there. But uh, these pillows, I love these things. And I know lately the sleeping pads I've been using have seemed, it may seem like they're not good sleeping pads, but no, they are great sleeping pads and the company is great. That sounds like rain. It's freezing rain. Yeah, it, it's still coming down. I just hope it stays freezing rain, it stays frozen rain. But anyways, like I said, the sleeping pads, um, that's just my bad. <laughs> I've made mistakes because Funk still has her original sleeping pad, the same one she got from the beginning. Gotta have the gray ones for my face, the green ones for in between my legs. And I don't alternate them. I like to keep my face one as my face one. And my in between my legs one as an in between my legs one. Because, you know. You know. Okay. Now my jacket is a little wet here. It's probably going to be frozen in the morning. And I'm going to definitely put these gloves. They're not sopping wet. They're pretty wet still, but I'm going to put them in my sleeping bag with me. Just so that they're not frozen solid in the morning. But my uh, jacket, I should have put underneath Monty here. But he's already too comfy. The only reason I'm not going to put them underneath me is because the zippers and stuff. I'm just worried that the zipper maybe ruin another sleeping pad or something. So um, since he's got the little Z-rest, I would have I would have laid it flat underneath him, but... I don't have the heart to uh, disturb him now. He's, he's, he's in there. He's done. So anyways, guys. That was quite the storm. It's still going on. Wind's howling around. This sounds like it's getting pretty... This has picked up more than before. Yeah, you can feel the wind. Wind's still going. We can feel wind, but we're not going to get snow or anything on us. We're in a good spot. Anyways, I'm satisfied. I'm going to bed. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Freeze raining really hard. Freezing rain. Did you just say raining? It started raining really hard. It started freeze raining really hard. It started freezing raining really hard. I don't know what's right. down <clears throat> it's freezing rain but it's coming down <laughs> it's accumulating a lot Very peaceful. Very loud there.
<laughs> Oops, sorry, man. scratch oh yeah no that's a good boy oh yeah morning kisses do the morning kisses oh he's gonna leave it down oh oh yeah oh, I'm gonna throw you around oh my D oh there he goes there he goes Monty, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. It's a new day, Monty. It's a new day. It's a new day. When did you sleep? Did you sleep good? I know you slept good. Yeah, he didn't move much. Other than when I was knocking off the tarp and stuff. It's... It's, uh... Oh. Monty, you don't want to go this way. Monty... No, go this way. Monty. No, this way. Oh, did you burp, Monty? Monty, go this way. Monty, go there. No, Monty! Monty! Hey! That way. Here you go. Good boy. Oh! Be free, Monty. You're free. Live your own life. Be a good boy. Anyways, guys, yeah. It, uh... Can you even see me? Yeah, you can see me. It, uh, stopped... Uh, freeze raining, sleeting, however you want to say that so it doesn't sound stupid, freeze raining <laughs> sounds dumb. <laughs> it was, it was raining, because it was definitely not snow, it was little ice balls, so I'm going to say sleeting, I guess, I don't know, but it was doing that very hard until 5 a.m., and then it just, like, stopped, or maybe, like, 4.30, right around there, it was just going ham. It was, for a minute there, I was getting a little, a little nervous, because I was, there was so much building up. We didn't get a single uh, piece of snow on us, or anything, except for, except for me. Every time I'd knock this off in this corner, it was so much that it just started, it started getting on my sleeping pad. Same with my feet, because these tarps are overlapping. And, uh, yeah. Now it's all melty. It's all wet. But yeah, that tarp, I don't know if you can see that on the other camera. Well, the other tarp is pretty much laying on the ground. It I uh, when I I the last time I knocked that one off, I was I was getting ready. I was like, "All right, in another like 45 minutes of this or half hour of this and I'm going to have to get up and fix that tarp or it's going to just be destroyed." And uh it stopped. So that was good. Now we've got a little Monty Fern here. Ew, ew. Anyways, yeah, see this sleeping pad? How it's loose? It's not, it's not um, that it's got a hole in it. It's this stupid speed valve. I had to try it, retry it like three times. It worked pretty much for him most of the night, but, uh, it slowly leaked out and this I just don't like the speed valve if you don't do it just perfect the air slowly leaks out 
I've had it happen to me before. So I just you just gotta mess with it. That's the one thing I don't like about it. It makes you blow up your air pad fast, but that's why I like these little these little valves. You know, you blow it upright and there's no holes in it, the thing stays solid. <sighs> Anyways, I don't think we're gonna have two frozen let's see. Okay, it might be a little frozen. Oh well. But yeah, anyways, um, it's time to get up, put some layers on, greet the day. Let's do it. This isn't too crunchy today. It's still a little bit frozen. Oh, I ain't bad at all. And your fingers through there though. It's a little nippy. Oh. Always happy I put my gloves in the sleeping bag with me. When you can put them on in the morning. Get your fingers right and warmed up. Monty! Hey Monty! Monty! Hi! Yeah! Tour! Troll throw a stick all right let's get a nice stick man it is still out this morning there is a slight freezing rain it's very very slight I don't think it's gonna mess with my camera <laughs> it can't mess with it more than I've already put it through last night there's ice all over it again it's wet <laughs> that camera's a trooper but we need a stick for Monty here let's go get a nice stick Monty I'm the leader of the band. Jump, jump, jump on the leader. You have to listen, jump. There you go, jump again. Good boy, one more time. Come on, one more time. You want it, you want it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, that, still don't know what to call it, freezing rain. The freezing rain last night. How do you say it as it's happening, freezing raining? It's freezing rain. Anyways, yeah, that p compacted down the fluff we got yesterday, or it kind of melted, because it's definitely, seems like it's only like four or five or six inches now, so although it accumulated more stuff, good boy, Monty, it's making it seem like there's less, which I'm not going to complain about walking out, so I don't really know how much snow we got and freezing rain, but it definitely is less than yesterday. Good boy. Oh yeah, you're in the mood for the stick throwing today, aren't you? Aren't you there, guy? Aren't you there? Yeah. Oh. I am glad it's not raining raining, though. Because <laughs> that would not be very fun to uh, deal with on the way home. I mean, I'm, I'm waterproof. It gets soggy on the outside, but it keeps me dry on the inside. Monty, on the other hand, though, he would get wet. Oh, <sighs> so. put Monty's booties on here he's already getting snow packed because this is very packy snow right Monty can't be having none of that I should have put him on before he left 
and that's okay. Once he gets those on, his feet get really warm quick. Oh yeah, he's getting snowpack. He needs the bluties. Monty, come here. I'll put your bluties on. Come on. Get your stick. Come on. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get. Uh, he doesn't like it. I'm gonna get Monty's booties on here, and then uh, we're gonna slowly start packing up and heading back. Yep, yep, yep. We got a whole big wet mess today. There we go. There we go. Our sled's buried. <laughs> it's time for your booties. Stay there. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a good boy. He doesn't even fight it. It's just like, okay, Dad. Put on the blueies. I know they're good for me, I think. Because you say so. Definitely starting to uh, <clears throat> lightly rain. It's not freezing anymore. It's definitely just like a drizzle. So I'm going to get packed up here pretty quick and put away that DSLR as soon as uh, I can. It'll be okay for a minute. I hope those aren't going to be the last <laughs> recorded words on the camera. <laughs> It'll be okay. I don't really need these snowshoes, but I'm going to try them out because I've taken them out camping twice now and haven't got to use them. They're new snowshoes, so I don't know how good they work. And I've got until May to return them. And I want to make sure that they do their job and stay on. That's the whole point of the new bindings. Well, I broke the other ones, but the whole reason I didn't like those. Uh, <clears throat> snowshoes it's because the bindings had terrible binding security 
So we got the same brand and essentially the same snowshoe with different bindings because I like those. A nice big, good flotation. So we shall see. We shall see if they fall off once, one time on this walk out, they're going back. All it's going to take is one. I don't want. I want snowshoes that are not going to fall off. I don't care if it takes me five minutes to put them on, as long as they don't fall off. I'm going to tuck in my shirt a little bit, and I wouldn't really need to even wear uh, this jacket, but it is drizzly and I just don't really want to get that wet. I'd rather get wet from sweat than drizzly cold wet. So we'll just be a little warm. Right Monty? Let's put these things on here. How does this work? Yeah Monty, it's time to go. Yeah, it's warm out right now too. It is uh it's got to be it's got to be 30 32 to 35. It's got to be at least above freezing or right at it. Cuz it's it's just not too cold. It's just not too cold. Okay, Monty. Monty. Hi. Hi guy. Hi good Monty. Da, da, da. You ready? You ready? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fun little overnighter. Um, it was definitely a gnarly spring storm. Um, as you can see, we've got a fresh layer of powdery, well, it's kind of packy wet snow now and the drizzle's hitting me. So yeah, we're just gonna hope that uh, this melts off, you know, doesn't extend. I just hope there's not snow by the middle of May. That's all I'm asking. Come on, mother nature. I guess someone was saying it's old man winter. Old man winter, go to bed. You go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we've got to hike back to the car and I'm gonna test out my snowshoes here. So, it's gonna wrap this one up. So as always, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on, Auntie, let's go. Come on. Thank mm -hmm. you.